Hello. Welcome to space. Space is a place where there are people of all sorts of different races, and they all come together and argue about pointless bullshit. But today we're not going to be worried about them. We're going to be worried about one man or woman. I haven't really decided yet. Um, and their name is going to be Commander Shepard, and this will be their story. Hello, I am here with uh, Jim Whaley, the author and writer and editor and muse behind uh, U UTC, Urgent Transformation Crisis, and um, I can't remember his website off the top of my head, but it will be here in big bold letters across the screen, so you can't possibly miss it in three different languages. Hi, and <laughs> it's just catomics.com. Okay. So. I swore I would remember the name of your website when I started this, and I the first thing I do is forget I'm the best. Thank you, Rec. I'm just so privileged to be here. I'm so happy that you've invited me onto this stream. Now, there's one problem. I accidentally forgot to run the utility to make it so the gamepad recognizes. <laughs> Son of a bitch! We're and all fine here. Nothing happened. How are you? I'll edit that out. I, I won't... I, I definitely won't forget to edit that out. Anyway, let, let's start the game. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Dude, that, you can't access that. Establishing That's classified. Secure connection. Secure well, it's classified connection for you. Confirmed. It's our database. See... When you, when you lo load up the game initially, you can go and go like, Oh, I'm John Shepard. This is like who I am. Or you can enter a new ID, but when you enter a new ID, it does things. So we're going to go uh, custom female. Please log in to access your profile. The default name is Jane. But I'm self-inserting, so. <laughs> Damn it! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot about that. I'm going to have to do all this with mouse and keyboard. Okay. Well, data entry is easier to do with keyboard and mouse anyway. Yeah, this this is how you can tell I'm using a, a, a mod in order to make it so my controller is recognized by Mass Effect. Because when I try to hit up, or when I try to hit the Y button, it puts down F. When I try to hit the X button, it puts down nothing. And the analog stick, I'm guessing, is WADS. Um, yeah, the analog stick is... Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's pretty hilarious. I've had to really go crazy with trying to get this to work with a gamepad. But, I'm using X-Patter for that. And X-Patter is working very well, except for one problem. But I'll, we'll get to that when we get to it. Warning. Data corruption detected. Oh, what'd you do? Wrong password. Proceeding to shoot Please you in the face. Profile. You appear to be trying to play this with a uh, gamepad. We're not going to allow this. History. Hey, let me move the microphone a little bit. There. That might angle better. It's going like this. Okay, so <clears throat> this is where we pick our pre-service history. And we have three backstories. Um, both of our parents were in the Alliance military. Your childhood was spent on ships and stations as they were transferred from posting to posting, never staying in one location for more than a few years. Following in your parents' footsteps, you enlisted at the age of four 18. I don't know why I almost said 14. <laughs> um, you were born and raised on Midnor, a small border colony in Attica Traverse. When you were 16, slavers raided the thing, slaughtering your family and friends. You were saved by a passing alliance patrol, and you enlisted with the military a few years later. This, um, this backstory actually doesn't explain who you were slaughtered by, which I feel is important, but you wouldn't know who they are at the very start of the, the story. But, um... Just in case you were wondering, the Batarians did this. So it adds a little bit more, like, you... So that, that's explained in the game proper, not here? Yeah, but okay. we're not going to pick that backstory because I just wanted to explain that. Mm. Uh, that'll I'll, I'll come back to that later. Um, the last one is Earthborn. You were an orphan raised on the streets of the great megatropolises covering Earth. You escaped the life of petty crime and unruled gangs by enlisting with the Alliance military when you turned 18. And we're going to pick that one. Confirm psychological profile. And let's see. We got Ooh, Soul space. Survivor. Which one of these did you pick when you started your game? Uh, space or Soul Survivor. Space or Soul Survivor, okay. So both of the first bland. two. Mm -hmm. 
During your, servi your service mission you were on went horribly wrong, trapped in extreme revival situation, overcome physical torments, blah, blah, blah. Okay. War Hero is... War Hero is kind of like the boring basic background. I always pick that for my characters. It was just like, you're amazing, everyone loves you. It's the War Hero background. Mm -hmm. And then Ruthless is... You're cold, calculating, and mean, and your reputation for being mean is known to everyone. Um, I'm actually going to pick Ruthless. Confirm military specialization. And soldier. Confirm facial identification. And I'm going to make a few changes to this. I'll explain so the reason I picked soldier later in case you're curious. Um, but... With Mass Effect 1, it's pretty much the only choice that's viable. All the other classes suck. They're... What the... <laughs> Which one of these did I pick when I was going through this game the first time? I don't remember. I think... It starts you off with, like, this one. It always freaked me out, because I always spent too long, like, trying to calibrate the lips and get them to look right. Ugh. I'm gonna drive myself crazy trying to do every little detail of this, so let's just go with the important ones. I go to this, and I like to turn this to black. Whoa. Turn this to black. And then <clears throat> blush color now, no blush. And then I go to where is this the I know there's an option for it somewhere. Is it fit under facial structure? Skin tone. Yeah, I do this. Wait, no. Other way. Yeah. I, I I go I go in and I'm thinking like Earthborn, she would be like kind of uh one of the hacker sorts of people. Kinda stays indoors a lot. Because when I when I first played through this game, I had the same preconception about Earth that you did. Where I was like, Earth has gotta be this overpopulated like um mad max sort of thing and mm -hmm. that's why everyone's branched out at this point like that was just my original assumption as to the way it's, earth worked it's possible like the one origin you can pick that's from earth talks about you lived in a really bad area of earth so like that's your only impression of earth of the start of the game that may have that may have um influenced both of us when we were thinking about that when we first started the game gotta rotate through hairstyles that that was the hairstyle i think my last female shepherd had and that's the uh dr chalk was <laughs> mm -hmm. um <clears throat> uh, i think that's fine is it possible to make yourself look like other characters like could you make yourself look like dr chalk was so if you like go and like have a conversation with her it's like your twin separated at birth. Yeah, I think you can, but I'm not totally sure on how it works. I think I'm gonna go with that. Um, so we're almost done. Well, there's gotta be one more thing I'm forgetting. Oh, right. Whoops. That was gonna be oh, embarrassing. Yeah. Hang on. Uh. I knew there was something missing too, but I couldn't put my finger on it. I'm like, there's something we haven't adjusted that's usually a, a, like a big thing that. It's a stable you adjust for me. Customization. I think that's the closest to yellow I can get. Probably. Because that's like, that's that's orange. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yellow. Okay. Got it. And I like to leave everything else about the same, unless I'm going for a specific character build. the The last character I made for Mass Effect looked exactly like uh, Samuel L. Jackson. So mm -hmm. this is definitely different. Okay. We're good. I think we're good. Can you think of anything else? Um, nope. Eyebrows look a little weird. Hang on. Look like super furry for some reason. Uh, these eyebrows are odd. Yeah, I kind of like the original ones. These are the original ones. I think there were those. Um... Yeah, I think so. Dang it! This is what What's stinks. The, what? Oh, that's no eyebrows. And, mm, that one's not bad. All of them are just so weird to me. I think it was the one all the way on the right. It, but see, with this one, it looks like the right one is like 
pulled up slightly, so she's doing like this. Yeah, I can see what you mean. I, I think that might just be the way the head's angled, though. Eh, yeah, I think mm. you're right. I, I think that's good. I think we're good. We're, we're good. We'll go with that. Those are your eyebrows. You're responsible for those eyebrows. That's your contribution. Well, thank you for taking my advice into account. Sorry, I had to stare at your eyebrows for a second. Oh, I know why it's off. Oh, you actually They're not the same color. Oh. <laughs> that, okay, that makes it look right. All right. Th they were different colors. I was oh. like, why in the world? Okay. All right, we're good. We're good. I'm happy with this. This is fine. Um, I'm not sure about the makeup. Hold on. Can we disable that? Oh, God. No, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> that was terrifying. What the hell? Okay. I'm, I'm cool with this. That's fine. Without eyeshadow, she looks very, um, a little bit, um, distressing to me. Hungover? <laughs> yeah, kind of. Just, just a little bit. Yeah, we're good. All right, this is fine. This is perfect. Okay, done. Whoosh. Profile reconstruction complete. Reclaw Shepard. Um, yeah, we're good. I'm down with this. Identification confirmed. Combat difficulty normal. Squad auto level up. I'm actually going to turn that completely off. Target says normal. Power usage. Active. Yes. Subtitles. Yes. Auto save. Yes. Okay. 